So I know that all of us have been feeling the strain that the economy and the inflation has had on us, uh, trying to live our lives on a week to week basis. That's for sure. Um, no different for the uh, beard product companies, the uh, small batch companies in particular, because all of their overhead has uh, been increased as well. Their ingredients, their fragrances, all of their products and supplies that they use, bottles, all that kind of stuff has also gone up. So we've seen uh, and quite a few companies who's had to increase their prices. I got one company that has just lowered their prices significantly. And it's one of my favorite companies. Been working with them for a long time. And that is Mythical Beard Co. So they've got a lot of cool stuff happening over there. I'm going to tell you all about it in just a second. So welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. So I don't really know where to start because we've got new scents. We've got fall scents that are uh, coming back, just being released today, one of them. Got a brand new balm. Uh, we've got um, solid colognes, we've got air fresheners, wax melts all thrown in. So a lot of cool stuff going on. But let's talk about all of those products and the prices that have uh, gone down. Uh, so this will work across the board for any of your favorite mythical scents. I've done a lot of reviews here, uh, quite a few this year. So Andrew's been putting out a lot of cool stuff over there. But the uh, original oil blend uh, was $17, is now $15.99. That is a, a nice and thick oil oil blend, especially maybe for cooler weather we have coming up. So if you like those thick oils, you can uh, check out the original blend. You can get a 50-50 EMU blend that was 1950s, now $17.99. By the way, that is before you use my Banjo 15 code and can save 15 more percent. So uh, it becomes really reasonable. The Legend uh, Oil Blend and the Legend Oil Blend is super good. I won't go over all the ingredients because it takes like two full screens here to get them all up. Um, definitely one of the best blends on the market but it was $25 for oil which is pretty expensive for a lot of guys and that they kind of draw their line uh, and they say I'm not, I'm not going to pay $25 for an oil well we've got the price uh, under 20 now $19.99 for a legend oil then you can use the uh, banjo 15 coat and get a little more off as well uh, the butter was 25 it's now $19.99 got a brand new for no formulated balm it's $17.99. I'm going to tell you about that in just a second. Uh, you can get a uh, Legend Combo oil butter was $45. Now it's $38.99. Body spray was $15. Now it's $13.99. You can get a solid cologne for $19.99. Brand new air freshener, which is pretty cool. You can uh, beef up your car there or a room or something like that for $3.99. Wax melts for $5.99. And then if you hit that $40 mark, which isn't hard to hit a $40 mark, you can get free shipping. So um, much more economical and uh, hopefully it'll uh, point you towards uh, trying out Mythical if you've never tried them before. Let's talk really quickly about this new balm. All right, that's actually, I've got a tester balm right here. Uh, let's see, I didn't write down the ingredients. Can I read them off of here? Beeswax, shea butter, mango butter, castor oil, avocado oil, golden jojoba, uh, argan, emu oil, and the essential oils uh, on that. So it does have emu in it. So I, I've, I've tried a balm before and it wasn't nearly uh, enough hold for me. It was kind of goopy and I don't like goopy bombs. So I actually did a little testing behind the scenes, uh, give Andrew a little bit of feedback, but now he's come up with one that is uh, it's very interesting. This is a bomb for people who don't like bombs because it is uh, firmer, firm to the touch. You can try to go forward with your finger. You can't really get anything out. When you do scrape it out and um, put it in your fingers, it's actually more like a butter when you put it in your fingers. I think it's because of the emu oil and it just makes it kind of smooth. You put it in your beard and it does not feel waxy. So it must not have tons and tons of uh, the shea butter in it. Like you don't feel the resistance when you're putting it in. You put it in, it goes in like butter uh, and then it dries to a nice uh, hold to it. But it's nice and dry, but it's not goopy. Doesn't make your hair really clump together like more traditional balms. So if you're like, I like the idea of having a little bit more hold, I would consider this medium now, maybe just a hair on the firmer side of medium, but it definitely acts and performs a lot differently than other uh, traditional bombs. I think maybe be 
because the emu oil in it. I'm not sure what I can what what I can attribute it to. I just know it works really well. I think a lot of guys would really enjoy this balm if you're looking for a little bit of hold, but you don't like traditional goopy uh, kind of balms that make your hair kind of matted down. Uh, anyway, I enjoyed it. I wanted to talk about that. So this was the Invisible Man. I think you can get it in the scents too, but Invisible Man is the unscented. All right, I uh, want to talk about some scents here. So I had a chance to, uh, actually I ordered this one. So this is the, I think it's called uh, Hephaestus. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not, but Hephaestus is the Greek god of blacksmiths, metalworking, carpenters, craftsmen, and metallurgy. Um, so uh, I know that Andrew made this uh, as a uh, to honor his dad who passed away in April. So it's pretty cool that he was able to come up with a scent uh, to, to lay tribute to him. So it's a timeless crafted cologne, subtle yet manly undertones of Asian spices. And this is uh, it's pretty strong uh, to me. It kind of reminds me of like an old school cologne kind of from the 80s, but but it doesn't have a that cologne bite to it at all. To me, it's it's not a sweet cologne like some of the newer colognes. Uh, the only newer cologne that I've uh, kind of smelled similar to, it's kind of like an Irish tweed. So if you've tried the Irish tweed, it's more in, down that uh, than it is like a polo red or something uh, sweet and sporty or uh, cool water, aquadigio. It's none of that kind of stuff. All right. So uh, pretty strong for me. Uh, it, this one lasts all day long. So if you like the strong kind of cologne scents, uh, you may want to try that one out. I hear my dog howling out there. Sorry about that if it's coming through on the microphone. Uh, also, we've got some new scents. Actually, these are re-releases from last year. Uh, we've got the uh, fall scents. So uh, a couple of days ago, we released pumpkin spice, which I know is a trigger for some people. They go pumpkin spice and they go no. But if you like pumpkin spice, this one is straight up pumpkin sp spice. It's called Jack-O-Lantern. You can check that out. <laughs> put you in the mood for fall if nothing else. Uh, and maybe you want a mat wax melt in that. I'm not sure if you can get a wax melt in that scent yet, uh, but that makes sense if you want to make your whole room smell like fall. And then one that came out uh, today, the re-release is called Tichuba. And, and this one is a really good scent. This one's a fall scent for people who don't like uh, uh, pumpkin spice. So this one is blackberry lemonade mixed with some cider and autumn apples to give it a little bit more of the fall feel. So if you like kind of blackberry scents, so blackberry lemonade you get, but you also get a little more depth with the, the, the kind of the apple cider, apple kind of scent going on there with it. So that one would be my uh, my pick out of these three that I'm talking about today. Uh, I, like I said, I reviewed some other ones too. If you haven't checked out my review for Funky Citrus, that one really surprised me in a good way. So you may want to go back and check that one out. Like I said, a lot of cool things happening over there at Mythical Beards. There may be a couple of new fall scents coming. So you want to make sure you stay tuned here on the channel. Cross your fingers. We'll see if we can't feature some more before the end of the year here from Mythical Beards. Uh, but enjoy your fall. Enjoy the rest of your day. Special shout out to my channel members. You can click the join button below to find out more information on that. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.